Okay, so today's class is gonna be helpful for when you're not feeling well. I'm a little bit snotty today, so we're gonna try this practice completely on our backs. But if you have a strap available, that would be great. We're gonna roll on over, come straight into Shavasana to start with. So legs out long, feet hip sisters, arms down by the side, palms facing up. Close down the eyes if that feels comfortable. And we'll start by taking a big inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Again, the inhale. And then exhale. Again, big inhale. Exhale, let it go. And then bring your hands, one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly. And we're just going to focus on our breathing for a second. So as you breathe in, I want you to feel your ribs, your chest expand, then your ribs, and then your belly. And as you exhale, belly, ribs, chest. Inhale, chest ribs, belly, exhale, belly, ribs, chest. Keep going with that for a moment, just feeling the separate parts of your torso lifting and falling. Do two more rounds. that breath nice and long. And then coming back to your natural breath. And we'll start with some movement. So let's hug in the left knee towards the chest. You can interlace your fingers around your shin. Bring that knee in and then just start circling the ankle one way. And then circling it the other. And then take that leg up high, grab behind the thigh. Keep a bend in the knee, flex the foot and bring that leg towards you until you feel a slight stretch and then hold it there. Take a couple breaths here. And then bend it back into that left knee. Grab your strap, place your strap around the ball of your left foot, and then bring that leg up towards the ceiling. I always like to wrap my hands around the strap just so that my hands don't slip down. And this time we're gonna really straighten the leg. So I want you to imagine every time you inhale, you're kicking that ceiling away, really straighten the leg. Every time you exhale, use your hands, pull on the strap, bring it closer. Inhale, kick it away. Exhale, pull. Inhale, kick. Exhale, pull. So you might end up with this kind of back and forward motion. Try and keep that leg straight. Every time you inhale, you're tensing. Every time you exhale, you're loosening, but pulling the leg closer. Do that a few more times. Really feeling that down the back of the leg. One more time. Okay. Let's bring the strap into the left hand, right hand on the right hip. If you're near a wall, you might want to shuffle out a little bit. Okay, so what we're going to do here is holding the strap in your left hand open that leg to the side, but don't let it go further down the body. 
because you're gonna lessen the stretch, okay? So keep it, if you can, in line with your hip, and then just bring it out towards the side. And just hold it there. It doesn't matter how low it comes. You can rest your elbow on the ground. Take a couple breaths. And then bring it back up to centre. Loosen that strap, hug that left knee back in towards the strap, um, in towards your chest. Bend up your right foot, plant your right foot down, and then bring your left ankle over your right knee. Use your left hand to push away that left knee to a bigger fall shape. So flex your feet here. Now just notice, if you feel something here, stay here. If not, pick up that right leg, interlace your hands behind the right thigh. Okay, just deepen that stretch slightly. Flex both of your feet so your feet are pointing or your toes are pointing up towards the ceiling. If you're a little bit more flexible and you can go a little bit deeper, you can even grab around the shin to bring that shape closer into you. But go to wherever your body needs to go to. Be. Again, focus on that slow inhale, slow exhale. And then gently releasing the hands wherever they were. If your right foot's off the ground, place it back on the ground. Keep that figure four shape with your legs and then drop the whole thing over towards the right. Okay, a little spinal twist here. You can bring the arms in line with your shoulders. But relax the legs wherever they end up. You're either gonna look up to the ceiling or look over your left shoulder. And then just completely relax here. You might be feeling this in your chest, in your legs, in your hips, in your back. Wherever you're feeling it, every time you exhale, imagine that area softening down a little bit more. I'm quite lucky I've got away with six months of no colds <laughs> and I've suddenly got a cold today. Kids are back at school, that's why. And then let's come back to centre, unhook the legs. Hug your right knee in, take your left leg out long. Okay, so same thing now on the other side. So hugging your right knee in, let's circle the ankle one way. Circle it the other, trying to relax your back into the ground as you do this. And then take that leg up, keep bending the knee, grab behind the thigh. And then gently pull that leg into you for a slight stretch and then hold it there and take a few slow breaths in. And gently bend that right knee, grab your strap, place it around the ball of your right foot, bring that leg up towards the ceiling, straighten your leg, flex the foot, and then let's inhale, kick that ceiling away, tense the leg, exhale, pull. Inhale, kick, exhale, pull. Inhale, kick. Exhale, pull. Remember, it's okay to have that back and forward motion here. Just keep going with that for a few more breaths. 
And as we work on flexibility, it's really important to work on a little bit of strength as well, which is why this movement is so good if you're working on the hamstrings. As well as the pulling and flexibility, you've got the strength of pushing up. Imagine that ceiling is falling on you and you're really trying to kick it away. One more. And place the strap in the right hand, left hand on your left hip. And then let's bring that right leg out towards the side. Elbow comes down on the ground. Place that leg wherever it needs to go. You might find one side can get lower than the other. We normally do have one side that's a little bit more flexible. And hold it there, a couple of breaths. Bring that leg back up to centre, bend the knee, keep it hugged in, release the strap, bend the left foot, plant the left foot on the ground, place your right ankle over your left knee, figure four, use your right hand, push that right knee away, maybe you stay here, maybe you interlace your hands behind that left thigh, bring the feet off the ground, toes pointing up towards the ceiling. Or maybe you're a little bit more flexible and you grab around the shin. Take whichever position feels okay for you this morning. Then slow down the breath. Relax into wherever you're feeling this. Again, you might feel it on one side more than the other. Just relax into it wherever it is on this side. Slide down the breath. And then let's place our left foot down on the ground. Drop this whole leg shape over towards the right. Arms in line with your shoulders. Relax your body wherever it ends up, even looking up to the ceiling or looking over at your right shoulder. And just really focusing on those slow inhales, slow exhales. Trying to soften whatever muscle you're feeling the same. And then slowly coming back up to centre. Hug both of your knees in. And then I want you to cross your left leg over your right leg inside a chair. So your left thigh over your right thigh. Now from here, place your hands on your knees. So it's going to come onto your opposite knee. And then walk your hands down as far as you can. So you might end up just grabbing your ankles. You might end up grabbing the outer edges of your feet. Go to wherever you can. And we're going to hold it here. Now the aim of this is to be feeling this in the left hip, okay? So if you've got your feet hold, if you try to raise your right foot up slightly, you'll start to feel that a little bit more intense. If you've got your ankles, again, just lift your right foot up slightly. So you're hugging the knees towards your chest and then lifting your right foot so it's basically in line with the left. 
And then you should feel that nice deep hip stretch all down the left side of the body. Hold it here, take a couple of slow breaths. We've done the inner thighs, this is getting towards the outer now. Really good stretch if you ever end up with sciatic pain. Gently release that. Plant both feet flat on the ground, knees bent and just windscreen wipe the knees. So drop your knees from right to left, just shaking that out. We're going to go on to the other side. So both knees up, right thigh over the left this time. Hands on opposite knees, walk them down, maybe grabbing your ankles, maybe grabbing the feet again, just remembering one side might be tighter than the other. And holding wherever you get to, whenever you can feel that stretch in the right bum cheek, right hip, right leg. And again, if you need a little bit more lifting that left leg a bit higher, Keeping those knees hugging in towards the chest. Slow breaths. Gently releasing that. Plant the feet back down on the ground. Windscreen wipe the knees again, right to left. And then feet plant, knees are bent up. Bring your heels quite close towards your bum. Hands down by the sides, palms facing down. Let's ground down through our feet, ground down through our shoulder blades. Lift your hips up off the ground. Really squeeze your bum cheeks together. Exhale back down. Again, inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Two more times. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Hug the knees in, toes together, knees wide. Grab and hold of either your ankles or again the outer edges of your feet. Open your feet up into your happy baby pose. So soles of your feet are facing towards the ceiling, knees are down towards the outside of your shoulders. And it's as if you're trying to pull on your feet to bring your shoulder, your knees, sorry, to the ground. And then try to lengthen through the tailbone so you're not lifting your bum off the ground. You're trying to get your low spine flat on the mat and hold it here. Again, focus on those slow breaths. And again, just notice where your breath is. Make sure it's going to your ribs and your belly, not just your chest. And then completely optional here, you can sit like this or you can use your peace fingers on your big toes to see if you can straighten your legs and then open those hips up. the legs long, just bring them back into your happy baby. You can gently rock side to side. And then just a fun little thing to do if you have some room behind you, 
bring the inside of your feet together, so your big toes touching. Start to straighten the legs, and as you straighten your legs, you might notice your bum comes off the ground, and maybe you can reach your legs behind you into a flower pose. Your toes don't have to touch the ground. Just tense your legs. And then gently bend back into your knees, roll your spine down to the ground. Take your legs out long. Keep your pelvis where it is. Move both of your feet over towards the left. You can even cross your right foot on top of your left. Hands up above your head. Shuffle your chest towards the left. Grab hold of your right wrist and bring that over as well. So just bend down the shape of the body all the way over to the left. Let's take a couple of deep breaths here. Really feeling the side of your body open up. Again, trying to get that breath while we're going into the chest, the ribs, and then the belly. And then exhaling, belly, ribs, chest. Shuffle your upper body back to centre, bring your legs back to centre, and then take it all over to the other side. So legs go towards the right, maybe left leg over to the right, grab hold of your left wrist, shuffle your chest over to the right, and then pull your left hand over, and then relax here. So it's okay if your body starts to naturally slide back to the centre, just completely relax everything here. Just feel that opening in the left side of the torso. And again, just focus on that three-part breath. Chest, ribs, belly, belly, ribs, chest. And then slowly come back to centre, bring your arms down by your side, feel free to take any last little movements that you want to hear, but if you're ready, you can come into Shavasana, feel free to grab a blanket or a jumper, make sure that you're nice and warm, feet hips distance. Arms down by the side, maybe tucking the shoulder blades under slightly just to open up the chest. And then we're going to take a body scan just to make sure everything's nice and relaxed. So relaxing and softening all the muscles in the forehead, the eyes, the cheekbones. The jaw, the neck, the shoulders, the chest, the stomach, the arms, the hands, the fingers. Softening the hips, the upper legs, the lower legs, the feet and the toes. 
bringing that sensation up the legs, up through the spine. And then relaxing your cheekbones again. Feeling the sinuses relax. The inside of the throat. The lungs. Letting everything soften down. Your mind focused on softening lessons. And being grateful for showing up on your mat today. And just gently start to deepen the breath. A little bit more movement into the chest. Gently wiggling the fingers and toes. Taking a nice big stretch up overhead, making your body nice and long. Gently rolling over onto one side and slowly. Pushing yourself up to seated. Let's inhale, sweep the hands up above the head. Exhale, hands to heart center. Namaste. Mm -hmm.